Hey YouTube, what's up? We're at Galstein State Park today. Gonna do some fishing on a Monday, which is always good. Stay tuned to the end of the video. I'll show you exactly where I launched and where I caught fish. All right, and we are off. Doesn't get much smaller than this. It's about an eight incher. But there you go, buddy. So I've resorted to trolling. Uh, that was about an eight incher. Caught and released a ten incher uh, on the troll. Throwing this little guy. But uh, that's the only way I've been able to find him so far today. GoPro ran out of battery, so apologize, rookie move. Uh, but if I catch on the good, I'll let you know. All right, guys, gonna switch it up to the Magmino 90F. I was catching them on the troll with um, this little guy on an eighth ounce jig head. I got this from a waiter when I got here. Uh, he's, he had a limit. He had uh, limited out using this guy, so there's a lot of dinks. I've caught uh, two eight inchers and one 10 incher, so hoping the upsize is gonna, gonna work for me. Works. Got my rod out sideways. Trolling that mag daughter right now, but I was doing it earlier with the soft plastic. It was producing. Just kind of pedaling at a steady pace. And every once in a while, I just give it a little jerk to give it a little more action, but you, know, you should be able to feel the, feel the lure doing its magic there. And um, haven't caught a fish here, but only been going on the mag daughter for one pass so far. Felt like I got a few bumps, but I'll let you know if I catch any fish. boys got this guy on the on the troll about 17 18 incher awesome got him on the um, bait I'll show you in a minute I'm gonna let him go but yes trolling produces Ooh, he's ready to go nice all right, so this is what produced. Uh, it's a Magmino 90F. I'll uh, have a link in the description. I gotta find out, I forgot who made it. But uh, I'm just trolling this along at a steady pace and bam, upgraded. I was catching eight to tens on that little, um, on the little bait, the little um, swim bait. Upgraded to this guy and boom, produces a nice fish. Hey YouTube, great day out on the water today. It took me a long time to figure out what the fish wanted. I threw my entire tackle box at them. Uh, then I ended up using a technique that I haven't used uh, at all in Texas. I used it a lot in California, trolling for stripers. I just started trolling, um, caught about three dinks, super dinky fish. Um, then I switched it up to the Crystal uh, Yozuri Magmino and uh, produced a nice 17 and a half, 18 inch fish on the troll, which was uh, my last fish of the day but it was an awesome one. Uh, I'm gonna show you where I was fishing today, where I launched from, and the general area that I finally caught fish in. Uh, so we're zooming into Galveston Island State Park right now. Um, the Google Earth puts you on the beach side. Um, that's not where I launched. I launched from this side right here. Um, you drive in off of San Louis Pass Road, also known as FM3005. 
you take a right off that road if you're coming from Houston um, down the seawall. Come in, check in at the park, hit this T, take a right, and you basically just follow it all the way down to the end. You'll pass the RV park on your left here, and right here is where the launch is. Um, there's a little footbridge you have to kind of traverse. Pretty easy, no big deal. Um, especially if you got a cart or if you have somebody to help you, it's really easy. Uh, when I first started fishing, I was fishing this um, these two passes right here, this general area. I had no luck whatsoever. Uh, one of the other gentlemen I was out there with caught a nice 19-inch flounder right against the shoreline right when we got there, which was about 8.30. I fished this area through here. I fished all these flats. Um, my swim bait I was using got chased by a, a sheep set over here a little bit, but that was about it. Fish all through here, back down here, came back to this shoreline right here for quite some time. It has some broken up concrete. Sun was coming out, I was hoping it would warm that up. Saw a lot of bait over here. Um, saw quite a number of blow ups, but uh, this is where I really threw everything I had uh, in the tackle box at these fish and couldn't get them to bite. Did that for three, three hours about, didn't get any bites. Finally got frustrated, switched to trolling, started trolling uh, the little swim bait that you saw. And it was in this general area right in here, kind of where it gets the narrowest that I caught the, the small guys and my final big 17-inch uh, biggish fish uh, right here. So if you're familiar with the area at all, this is uh, Waterman's Restaurants. Uh, this is also the, um, the marina here, um, pretty popular restaurant if you know the area. So yeah, if you launch, um, again, this is wintertime, so I would suggest maybe trying to hit the shallow part here, but then troll deep uh, through most of the day. Also, there seemed to be kind of some fish over in this big area here, but I really didn't troll that much. I did like one pass and didn't catch any fish. So there's your report, guys. It's a, it's a nice spot, super easy launch, um, very easy to get to. Will cost you $5 uh, to get in the park. I have a park pass, so it's free, um, but that's it. Hey, thanks for watching today. Click my logo to subscribe to get more great content that's coming up. And there's some more videos for you to watch over there on the left hand side.